After receiving a distress signal, we decided to land on this distant moon to check for any life signs. From the outside, the dome appeared intact. The only way to be sure was to go inside. Hello and welcome to another Stellarian Games video. In this episode, we're going to be making an outer space habitat dome. I've wanted to use some old lampshades that I had laying around, and this seemed like a perfect opportunity. So let's go to the crafting table and see how it's done. All right, first up, we are using this clear plastic lampshade, and we're hot gluing on chunks of black zip tie. These are pre-measured um, into segments that will form the girders section around the habitat dome. The girders are placed facing outward uh, so that the texture of the zip tie can be seen. I'm gluing in um, sections of the zip tie at angles, cutting them to fit so that it'll have a, a girder pattern all the way around the dome. This is a bit of a, a tedious process, but I think the end product is well worth the effort. Now we're cutting a piece of XPS foam into a circle and shaving it in half. That will form the top portion of the dome. Now we're working on some of the detail um, segments that will be glued on top of that top segment. This will be sort of like a, an air exchanger, air purifier kind of rig on top. Using some um, granny grating to form the grid of the, the air exchanger. Hot gluing in that grid to just a water bottle cap with a hole drilled in it and pre-painting it black because I knew that trying to get inside of the grid and paint would be very difficult. I'm using a bendy straw as just kind of a, a chunk of hose or conduit of some sort and some um, electrical caps uh, to add more detail to this roof section. Hot gluing this component on and then gluing on those electrical caps as well. Then I'm using an X-Acto knife and cutting in just some recesses into the styrofoam. Uh, this just adds some nice detail to it. And then I'm gluing on some of the zip tie locking mechanisms on as well, just as little electrical boxes. Once I get the placement right, then I just put some hot glue on top of the dome and glue that into place. You'll also notice that I had a door already assembled. I didn't get that filmed, but it's just an XPS block of foam. I'm using some googly eyes to um, be the girder joints, and I'm poking a hole in the back side of the googly eyes and dropping a little bit of white glue into them so that they don't rattle around. Then we're just hot gluing those googly eyes onto the girder sections and they'll be kind of the, the brace sections for where the girders meet. I use the googly eyes just because they have a nice shape to them. Um, and I'm using two different sizes, larger ones on the bottom and the smaller ones on the top section. I'm cutting out a circular column. and then slicing that column into little discs to be uh, used as more girder sections. I'm slicing them in half and gluing them just with some tacky glue onto the bottom section as the bottom section of, of girder holders. Now I'm using some um, hardware cloth and cutting that out and will form a ladder that will go up the back side of the dome. I'm cutting out little sections so that it will form kind of the the brace sections to hold the ladder up off of the dome. So I'm just cutting all, all along the sides on both sides 
And then I'm coming with the pliers and bending those down so that it'll hold the ladder up above the dome um, curvature. Once that's ready, then I kind of place it in place and see how it fits, adjust it a little bit, and then get it ready to be hot glued into place. I just hot glue onto those little brace sections and hold it onto the dome until it cures. I'm giving it a Mod Podge black coat, which actually gives a little bit of texture that I wasn't really interested in. I like the smooth texture of the dome, um, but I definitely wanted the Mod Podge black to coat the plastic um, as I didn't know what else would coat nearly as well as the Mod Podge. Once that's dry, I decided to use an airbrush to paint the glass sections of the dome. I was tempted to just do a, an overall gray dome, which you certainly could do. Um, but for this, I decided to try out an airbrush that I haven't um, really used in many, many years. And I was very pleased with how this came out. I started with a dark blue undercoat for all the glass sections and then came with a lighter blue and just did a little bit of highlighting. I did gray on the cement sections or metal sections and I started on those bracer um, googly eye sections, but I wasn't very happy with that. So I ended up dry brushing all of that gray. Adding in some metallic highlights and some color just to give the piece some interest. and then coating the entire piece in a black wash. And then I added a little bit of water so that it didn't stay on the glass as much. And then I used a paper towel to come back over and try to clean up some of that on the glass so that it didn't leave big black smudges. So here's the final product. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out for just being a plastic lampshade and some zip ties and some other various hardware. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.